Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing a love reading all about you, the person that you're thinking about, what's going on between you, how do you feel about each other. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Leo watching. So let's jump right in, Leo. For Leo Spirit, which is guys, what's going on in Spirit? For Leo in love. Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with, at this time, what's going on for Leo? What's going on my table? Are you the person I'm thinking about connecting with at this time? What do we need to know, Spirit, for Leo? The Leo card. Card review. Let's see what we have. What's going on between you? We have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. On your end, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Nine of Cups. And on their side, we have the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords. Some sort of disappointment, heartbreak, separation here with the Three of Swords. Um, I think your person feels a bit maybe guilty or just left out in the cold, abandoned with the Five of Pentacles. Um, I think you're both thinking about what's happened here. Let me grab my other deck, actually. A little tiny deck here so we can clarify. I'm going to start with that Three of Swords. So I'm curious. Can you get some clarity, please? Insight for Leo regarding the energies. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? For Leo. The Five of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like someone is still hurt over someone leaving this connection or over a separation of this connection i think if someone left they might be having regrets about that can i get one more please for this three of swords the knight of cups okay so someone could be wanting to apologize here or just express kind of their feelings for the other person. And I'm using terms like someone or other or this other person because these are both of your energies here. So it could be you, it could be your person, or a mix of both. What's the overall energy here, Spirit, between Leo and this other person? What's the overall energy? For energy please we have new beginnings you're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start these wanted to come out as well we have wishing well your wish is being granted inner voice let your intuition guide you towards the right path and mirrored souls you mirror each other in this special connection so what i'm getting here is that there's potentially a new beginning here a possible new beginning for soulmates and this is a wish being granted you have the nine of cups so this could be your wish leo um okay tell me about the six of pentacles why am i yawning out of nowhere tell me about the six of pentacles the nine of swords so this could be somebody a bit anxious about making things right fearful and then we have death, Scorpio energy. So I think there's balance that's needed here because I think something ended badly or there was a difficult ending here just because the three swords is already here. And last week's or the last reading I did for you, there was someone wanting to reconnect with you. So this could be somebody from the past. This could be a continuation. But I feel like someone's a bit scared to kind of reach out here with the Six of Pentacles. 
It could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, does not have to be. Virgos also here. Those are the just the zodiac signs that happen to have come out already. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, because there's here a choice that needs to be made. Someone trying to make an, uh, a decision here. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Oh, I see what this is. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. So this is very simple. I mean, the message is just very clear for me here. I think what's happening is that because of the ending that happened between you and this person, um, maybe this person mistreated you, maybe they were unfair to you, uh, maybe there was some sort of conflict here where they took advantage of a situation. I'm sorry, I just keep <laughs> yawning here. So I don't know if this, I'm getting that, you know, there could be somebody that's just thinking a lot about this, um, even dreaming about it perhaps, because it's like 5 p.m. There's no reason for me to be yawning right now. Um, but okay, what I'm, let me get to the message that I feel very strongly here. Because of the ending that has happened between you, someone is afraid their feelings will not be reciprocated. Um, they wonder if you feel the same. They hope that you feel the same, but they're not sure. Let's jump to your energies here. I have you on the left, Leo, and your person on the right. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Let me start with your energy here. Tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo's spirit. What do we need to know about Leo? Poverty. So I feel like there has been, there's a feeling of loss here. Maybe um, you're not doing so well without this person. Maybe you feel like there's something missing in your life. Maybe you were just really hurt by what happened. Um, okay, tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. What is their energy? Courthouse. This is all about a decision, contracts, legal matters. Like this is someone that's actively working on something. Marriage is at the bottom of the deck. So I think of like a commitment, perhaps a decision to commit or something to do with like a legal situation regarding a commitment already. Take that as it resonates because I don't feel it's going to be for everyone. I keep yawning. I don't know what's going on. Can I get some more insight, please, for Leo? And it's not like I ate anything either. Like, the last time I ate was, like, four hours ago. Okay, tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo's energy. Yo, I think you're thinking about something a lot. Yeah, at night I think of you. Someone at night is thinking about the other person. And it's like they're tired, they should be sleeping, but they're not. And this hermit energy, I feel like this is you. It's like you're thinking still, listening to your heart, your intuition. Maybe you're just, you know, in quietly thinking about this other person. Um, and just, you know, hoping or dreaming that things work out because you have the Nine of Cups here. Tell me about Leo's person. I definitely think they have feelings for you. The Queen of Cups is here. Tell me about Leo's person. What do we need to know about this individual? I don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, they're hesitating because there's fear here. I'm ready to commit. I'm working on myself. Yeah, they're actively putting an effort, but they're afraid to tell you how they feel. Um, and I think it's because, like I said uh, earlier, it's almost like they're, because of the ending between you, because of maybe their own actions, they don't think that you would be open to this. Let's get some clarity on either side here. Despite the fact that there's a lot of feelings on both sides, it's almost like this person's thinking, well, I don't think that's going to be enough. Tell me about the Hermit and this Nine of Cups energy. 
Tell me about the Hermit and the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Cups. Yeah, you're marrying each other here. Tell me about the Hermit and the Nine of Cups, please. The Hangman. So interesting. I feel like you're thinking about this other person. Maybe you're seeing your relationship um, in a new light. But I don't think that there's a lot of action here that's happening on your part. Or on their part. Because the hangman is someone that's not moving. They're, they're thinking, they're hanging around, they're getting enlightenment. But there's no action with the hangman. The two of wands is here. So maybe you have like a decision to make regarding this person. Maybe they do come forward with this knight of cups. That the chariot is here. Maybe they come in, they apologize to you, and now you have a decision to make about whether or not you want this with this person. Now, the Ten of Cups is here, so I feel like a lot of you are thinking, is this even going to be a happy ending? Is this going to work out? I'm just not sure. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're marrying each other. You're both thinking about the same thing and wanting the same thing. But I don't think there's been... Yeah, and, and again with the Seven of Wands, it's like some, this person's thinking about resistance. A challenge. Like maybe you would challenge them in some way. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. What do you need to know about this energy? The Magician and the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So again, they're working on something. They're willing to put in the effort. Yeah, I, and I feel like uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is that anxiety, that uncertainty about the future, which you have as well. So you're both thinking about the same thing when it comes to each other and when it comes to this connection. But for some reason, there's still fear. There's still kind of a holding back energy here. You know? Um, Nine of Swords is here. Scor um, Death is here. I was going to say Scorpio is here. Death is here. So, you know, it's like whatever happens between you, it's like this person wonders if there's a, a way to come back from that. You know? Is, is, this, is this fixable? Is this... And, and again... I mean, I've had this message for so many signs. I think so many people are like in the same boat when it comes to like connections. Because I feel like there's something going on astrologically where people are thinking about the past. Yeah, five of swords, six of swords. You know, it's, it's like someone, you know, the conflict has been left behind. The past has been, is the past. But now there's like this question over the future. You know, is there a reunion possible? Um, is, can I try again with this person? Could we have a second chance? It's just, it's happening for a lot of signs. Can I get one more energy? Can I get one more energy for this connection between Leo and this person's spirit? What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about this connection between Leo and this person? Codependency and make the effort. Give your relationship a chance at the bottom of the deck. You know, and again, this codependency, it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. This, to me, as a reader, is a card all about like attachments, um, similar to like the devil energy, um, restrictions, dependency on something. Um, you know, when I see this card here with make the effort, it's almost like someone wants to overcome this restriction or attachment or whatever issue there is, um, they want to make the effort to turn that around. That's what I'm seeing here, especially with give your relationship a chance at the bottom of the tech. It's almost like if we work on our issues together, we can really give this another go. That's what I'm seeing. So hopefully you enjoyed this reading, Leo. Hopefully it resonated for you. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will be seeing you all in another reading very soon. Take care.